Hi everyone and welcome to Naika TV. I am Prakriti and in today's video I am going to show you how to achieve this super easy beachy wave hair look. It makes my hair look super voluminous and bouncy. This is also a perfect hairstyle for a brunch date or a date night look. Now I have a pin straight fine hair with very little volume so this is the perfect effortless hairstyle for me. You can wear this with any outfit or makeup look. This is also my go-to hairstyle. This video is going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial so it's gonna be super helpful for beginners. So let's get started. For anything, I am going to use a heat protection mist because I am going to use heat on my hair. I will be using a straightener. The mist that I will be using is the B Blunt Hot Shot Heat Protection Hair Mist. This is for all hair types. I did use this hair mist on my damp hair before blow drying. So it's already there, but I'm just going to touch it up a little bit before I go in with the straightener. You also have to focus it on the ends. The straightener that I am using in today's video is the Philips Silk Protect Straightener. What straightening will do is it will make your hair super smooth and it will make sure that there are no knots in your hair. So I'll just tie most of my hair up and then I'll just straighten the part that's down. I'm straightening a lot of hair in one go because for me this is just to get rid of excessive moisture from my hair. Make sure that you are combing your hair before straightening so that there are no knots in your hair. You can also skip the whole straightening process if your hair is not super duper silky or if it doesn't hold a lot of moisture. So always start with the hair that's near your nape and then move upwards and in the end you want to curl your hairline. So I separate my hair from here like right above my ears. You can just create a rough bun, you don't have to be super precise. So I like curling my hair with a straightener because I have short hair and I feel that it's easier to curl my hair with a straightener. I'm going to take one section and show you how I actually curl the hair. I'll just take the straightener. I'll place it here and then give it a curl and then you just pull it out. As you can see I did curl this anti-clockwise which is away from my face so I am going to curl the next strand towards my face. This is going to give you more volume. Then again this time I'm going to place my straightener like this because we are going to curl it towards our face and then just go like this and pull it out don't have to put a lot of pressure because there is already heat involved. Make sure that you're taking smaller sections and not a lot of hair in one go because if you take a lot of hair in one go, you won't be able to curl it properly. And after curling, I just give it like a twist and then leave it. So I'm just going to repeat the same thing on this side. I'm going to curl one side first and then I'll move to the other side. For taking down a section, I am just again placing my finger over here near my temples, I'd say. And then go back and then take that hair and pull it out from the bun. And then I'm just going to clip the rest of it in place. I'm just going to start taking sections from the back, as you can see. If you straighten your hair before curling, you can easily differentiate between curled hair and straight hair. Another thing that I want you to know is that go slow with the curling. Also make sure that the front pieces are always curled away from your face and never towards your face. Now I'm going to take another section. Try to work with smaller sections as they are more manageable. Now generally for me, the whole process takes about 20 minutes. It will take more time if you're curling your hair for the first time, but it's super easy once you get used to it. Now for the section at the top of your head, curl the mid lengths properly. Your hair has a little support at the ends, but the mid lengths flatten out really easily. So go a little slow while curling the mid lengths. Now here I'd like to remind you that keep alternating the direction of the curls. And this applies for all the sections and not just the one near your nape. The smaller the sections, the more defined your curls are going to be. So if I want the waves to stay all day long, I need to make the curls a bit more defined. Otherwise, it will straighten out in a few hours. So just trust the process, it will look wavy in the end. 
Now I don't have to create a separate section for my back because I get all of that hair in these sections only. You can also create a separate section for the back but generally for me it's difficult to curl the hair at the back so I take it to the sides and then curl it. The reason why I keep my curls a little bit tight right now is because they are going to open with time and they will look more like waves instead of curls. So in about 20 minutes, I'd say, they are going to open. So now I'm just going to adjust my parting. Now I'm going to show you how I curl the hair at the back. Take the straightener very close to the roots, give it a twist and then just pull it out. For the crown, you want to take the straightener parallel to your head, get the strand and give it a twist then pull it up for a tighter curl. If you want a loose curl, you can pull it to the side. So this is how my hair looks after curling. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to run my fingers through the curls. This is just to kind of loosen them up a little bit. And this will also separate the strands and that will make your hair look more voluminous. So this is the finished look. Your hair is going to look super voluminous and it also feels very very bouncy. And that's it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. If it did find it helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Download the Nika app to shop for all the products in this video and lots more.